I did. I see that. Okay, let's go. You got a big old scoop? Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, that's pretty good. <laughs> Dig some more out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, probably tomorrow, we got we got a bunch of stuff around the property we need to do. Like these ditches, they all got they all got filled in from the rain and all that crap. The sit silt or whatever you want to call it stuff washes out in them, and it stops up the the entrance point of the ditches. And then you can see it stands on the road. So we're gonna try to get those cleaned out. And uh, we got some other stuff we got to do today too. So we'll get these and we'll be back. Right here, in the pipe. In that pipe, pull all stuff in that pipe off. Got a bunch of crap in it. Mm -hmm. A little bit, yeah. I poured some mud over there for you, Papa. Did you? Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I am pour mud in there for you. He's going to pour mud in there for you. Well, thank you, but I'm really trying to get the mud out. Papa, you want more? Papa, okay. you want more of this church? Ah, uh, yeah. You can bring a little bit of gas. I am sprinkled. Too much. I don't know I'm supposed to ditch. Right here. This is the lower part of the property that we're talking about fencing in for the goats. It goes, here's the driveway going in, of course. And that's what little dab of gravel we did get in that one spot right there. Right up to there, you can see some mud. But anyway, uh, the house is way up in there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the house is way up in there on top of the mountain. But this whole bottom down here, it goes all the way out to yonder, all the way around. That's our gate right there. So I'm going to fence it in down to there and then up the road and all this is going to be fenced in for goats right here on the bottom so that's what we're talking about we keep saying we're going to fence the bottom in that's what we're talking about this whole section down through here and it, like i said it goes that's our old camper there we're going to remodel one of these days just, just sitting around him, but the property goes a long way down around that curve down that way and then up on the other side of the hill so all this down here is what we're talking about big good size goat lot they're flowing good now. Why I got my shoes wet? Look, I'm gonna hang it up on the side over there. So I can why? hang my big ladder up. Why? I, I got, why? Yeah. You're asking an awful lot of why. Why? Why? I'm gonna do is use these to hang my ladder on. So I get some of this stuff picked up. I know I'm gonna put one right here. Like that. Bye. Bring me a screw. Here. I got to bring it up here, Bubba. Here. Here, look, Bubba. 
Ship his ladder fit. Chicken poop off of it. Daddy. What? I'm muddy again. You're muddy again? Yeah, what we're talking about doing is uh, this side of the, the little porch awning thing here is I'm going to come through here and I'm going to box this in just like this. And put a door up here and we're going to make one more cage right here. Um, we're kind of hoping to make some money on the either hatching eggs or what baby chickens this year. So we're going to start running incubator all the time and getting little chicks and stuff and hopefully selling those on, uh, what was it, uh, sell the eggs on eBay probably and the chicks on either Craigslist or Marketplace. Well, I mean, they sell pretty good, especially when you got like a pure leghorn or whatever. That and the zombie chickens, we're going to sell some of those. Those sell pretty good too, evidently. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to box all this in and make another cage right here, like another chicken cage, which will be eight by 16 which is the exact same size as that cage over there where the leghorns are at right now. So, um, I guess, uh, like we said on the live the other night, we got uh, a bunch more white leghorn hens and we got some pure roosters. So, the ones we bought was the uh, the pearl white leghorn and uh, they're the same as the ones we already have and they're pure. So, uh, we're gonna start raising those and selling the chicks and probably some of the egg, the hatching eggs and stuff like that off of it this year. Hopefully make enough just to pay for the, you know, the feed and stuff for the chickens during the year. They keep breaking the the cups on the waters that we have up there. So, I mean, we've had them now for six, eight months, and we have to replace them every other week. So, I'm done messing with those things. We're going to try this thing. It's, uh, it's from Real King. It's got this different little bit of water pecking things here that you peck on. These are supposed to be the good kind. Uh... Now, whether or not they are, I don't know. And uh, if this don't work, I'll just go ahead and build another trial like we built for the other side. I'm trying to come up with a better way where it don't get as nasty because that water trough, it gets pretty nasty, but it's, it's good. It's good for what it is. But <clears throat> this is designed just to set on the ground. Look at that. A full-size chicken, isn't it? That does absolutely no good. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to build a frame to set it in. I'm going to bring it up 12 inches to about right like that, give or take, something like that, and wait for it just to set up on and hold it up off the ground. Then I can fasten it to the cage to keep them from knocking it over.
Are there many? Many blimpies. Show me. That many blimpies? This is what we come up with to stand this water tank up on. I'll screw it to the cage so it don't do this and it'll be pretty solid. That should hold it. As long as they don't get a burning roost on This is near a couple weeks, if not more. I don't know why it probably lasts probably three or four weeks. Then I figure it out. Mm-hmm. Letting her turn up log you for a little bit now. That's near. Mm-hmm. That right there. Mm-hmm. That's where we get a bunch of eggs off of them. I'm pretty sure that's where that one's going to go.
have a whole lot of time, but we did get the we did get the water changed, and hopefully that'll be better. Uh, we got the lumber to frame this cage here in. This side here, we're gonna make a cage out of this, like we're showing you in a little bit ago. But the, it's gonna be the same size as this cage over here. It's gonna be eight by sixteen. It'll be big enough for a, like a breeder pen. So anyway. Alright guys, if you ain't done so yet, please hit subscribe, subscribe. Uh, hit that like button. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.